Hello, everyone. I hope you are okay during the trying time. The family law attorneys at CPLS, a law firm located in Orlando, Florida, are presenting a series of discussions where we will talk about some issues you may be facing during the unusual COVID-19 crisis. Please join us and raise those issues which you deem important. During our last meeting, we discussed how COVID-19 could affect your child support payment. Today, we address the question, can I safely stop paying my alimony? What factors are required for the court to make a change in my alimony obligation? Our first speaker will be my partner, Russell, who's well-versed in the matter. Take it away, Russell. Thank you, Judge. Whether or not you can stop your alimony payments, it's going to depend. And it's going to depend on the four factors under Florida law, including whether or not your change of circumstance is unanticipated, permanent, voluntary, involuntary, and material. So let's talk about the first two factors, unanticipated. Generally, that's going to be defined as an unexpected and unforeseen change in your employment situation, usually caused by an involuntary loss of your job or reduction in hours. Uh, if it's not known to you in advance, you haven't been able to properly prepare uh, and obtain comparable work, then it's likely you have an unanticipated change of circumstances. The next factor is going to be whether or not that change is permanent. And that's generally defined as it's going to be lasting or remain unchanged for an indefinite period of time. It's something that's unlikely to change in the foreseeable future. And generally, if it's a temporary reduction in your pay or in your hours, you may not qualify as having a permanent change. It's gonna depend on the industry you work in and if you can obtain similar work uh, with similar pay in other comparable fields. In order to sustain a, a chance of not paying alimony, you must be able to prove the permanency of your situation. To talk about the other factors, I'm gonna pass it on to my partner, attorney uh, Ducker. Thank you, Russell. In addition to being unanticipated and permanent, the uh, change needs to be involuntary. If you have a choice of whether or not to continue working or whether or not to work from home, that is not an involuntary change. In order to make a change to your alimony award, the court must find that the cha your change in income is not from your actions and is therefore involuntary. It also must be material. If the reduction in pay that you've experienced is offset by reductions in uh, costs of commuting to work or that sort of thing, the court may not find that it is a material change. If you're able to work from home for the same salary, that certainly is not a material change in your income that would result in a change in alimony. Now these these rules change from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. We have attorneys that are licensed in many places. One of our attorneys, Jalisha Prasad, is licensed in the Virgin Islands. He's going to talk about the alimony process then. Thank you, Attorney Ducker. An award of alimony and also an alimony agreement is necessarily forward looking and based on future needs and future financial positions and may not anticipate what actually happens. In the Virgin Islands, unless an agreement specifies that the court cannot modify it, the ward or agreement may be changed by the court. The proponent of change must show that, a significant, that there is a significant change in circumstances beyond what had been anticipated and provided for. In the Virgin Islands, the impacts of COVID-19 will more than likely be considered a circumstance beyond what had been anticipated and provided for. I'm going to pass the mic over to Attorney T. Prasad, and he is licensed both in Florida and the Virgin Islands. He'll give a bit of a comparative analysis between the two jurisdictions. Thank you very much, Jalisha. Alimony obligations are governed by statutory laws in Florida and the Virgin Islands. There's one major difference between the laws in Florida and the Virgin Islands. In Florida, the statutory law dealing with alimony is developed and detailed, providing clear guidance. In the Virgin Islands, the statute is not developed or detailed, so you have to look to case law in the Virgin Islands for guidance. When the cases in the Virgin Islands do not 
cover your specific issues for your case, you may have to look at other jurisdictions. Now that you've had a chance to listen to the lawyers talk about alimony factors and how to modify your alimony obligations, uh, if you need further information about your particular case, please feel free to give us a call at 407-647-7887. You can also call us toll free at 877-647-7887. You can also visit us on the web at cplspa.com, that is cplspa.com for further information. Thank you, and we wish you the best.